pleasure. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Today is Thursday, September 24th, and we're really excited to share information with you all about the 2020 census. Idaho matters, so be sure to get counted in the census. Um, my name is Garrett Kalt, and I work with the Idaho Nonprofit Center as a program and training coordinator. And for our agenda today, we're gonna briefly go over a census 101 talk about our great census count here in the state of Idaho, and then also talk about some challenges that we faced and our final push to make sure that everyone is counted in our state. And before we get going, we have a very special guest um, joining us today. Uh, Laura is with the Idaho Dream Foundation, and she's gonna share with you all some efforts that they and their team did for census. Hi, my name is Laura Rose Lewis, and I'm the executive director of the I Have a Dream Foundation, and we are located in Haley, Idaho. And um, the uh, census effort engaged us, or the, the, the census team in Idaho engaged us to help um, uh, reach out and spread the word about the importance of the census and engage people to participate in the census in hard to count populations. Uh, with whom we work. So um, just want to share a couple of the things that we did um, that really were effective for us um, to engage families that we work with. And we hosted events in restaurants. Um, and so we uh, used food and drink as a way as socializing as a way to bring people together a little more challenging during the COVID period, but outdoor events um, where people could come and um, participate in the census that way, learn about some, some events were just to learn about the census and spread the word. And we gave out flyers and information. Other events, um, people were, there were computers set up and people, uh, census representatives would come and support families to fill out the census um, on site. We, um, one of the fun things we did was we had a video contest um, among the youth that we work with, the teenagers, and um, we had them create census videos, videos promoting the census, talking about why it matters to participate. And they created the videos in English and Spanish, and they were super fun, and it was a, a wonderful um, contest, and three kids produced amazing videos that we were able to send around electronically to folks um, which was really great, particularly during the, the peak of the COVID around here. Um, so those are a few of the things that we did to support the census. That's incredible. Thank you so much, Laura, to you and your team for all your efforts. And it's really great to hear that you engage with the hard to count communities in unique ways and fun ways. So thank you. Our pleasure. Thank you. All right, everyone. So we're going to go ahead and talk more about the census generally, and I have a quick video to share. Here we go. What is the 2020 census? Every 10 years, the census records everyone living in this country. It's written in the Constitution and comes in a questionnaire that counts everyone who lives at your address on April 1st. The data can be used to inform funding for services like fire stations, schools, clinics, and representation that affect your community. How will 2020 census data be used? Where there are more people, there are more needs for public services. That's why the census is used by the government to inform funding decisions each year. But that's not all. It's also used by nonprofits to inform services, by businesses to create jobs, and even by students for school projects. Understanding how the population changes helps us shape communities across the country for the better. How does the 2020 census affect representation? There are 435 seats in the House of Representatives. These get distributed to the 50 states by population. 
and an accurate census response helps your state get the right amount of seats. States with smaller populations get at least one, while states with larger populations might get more. How do I take the 2020 census? In March 2020, every address in the country will receive an invitation to complete a simple questionnaire. And there are three ways to respond. Number one, do it online. Number two, call by phone. Number three, send it by mail. For those who don't respond, a census taker from your community will follow up and assist you. Is my 2020 census data safe? After sending your census response, your personal information is kept safe. By law, it can't be shared with any other government agency, law enforcement, or landlord. No. So take your 2020 census with peace of mind. Shape your future and start here. Visit 2020census.gov. What is the 2020 census? All right, everyone. Well, that was a quick 101 census video that explains how the census is important, safe, and easy. Um, I love that video because it has great animation and really captures um, the importance of the census in just a few minutes. Uh, but to dive more into those topics just a little bit more, I will go ahead and go through a few slides with you all. Um, first and foremost, the 2020 census is important. It determines federal funding um, for all of the states, including our state of Idaho, as well as representation within the U.S. House of Representatives and is even used to draw the Idaho state legislature representative maps. Um, additionally, the 2020 census is used for data-driven decisions. So in the video, when it was talking about how nonprofit organizations use the data, how businesses and education use the data. Census data is really a hallmark uh, data source that folks use to make informed decisions. And in terms of federal funding, um, this number may surprise you, um, but just in the fiscal year of 2016, and this is according to the University of Washington Counting for Dollars uh, study. So just in the fiscal year of 2016, Idaho received $3.6 billion with a B in federal funding through 55 different federal funding programs. Um, so that is just in one year and the census happens every 10 years. So making sure that you're counted uh, this year will ensure that our state receives its fair share of federal funding for the next decade. Um, and as you can imagine, with this dollar amount just being for one year, how great of an impact that makes um, to make sure that everyone is counted in our state. The 2020 census is also safe. So the questions that are asked on the form are pretty simple. Um, they're all demographic questions. Uh, nothing is asked about your social security. Nothing is asked about your political affiliation and nothing is asked about your banking information. Um, if you receive any of those questions, um, that is not the 2020 census, and I would recommend that you reach out to the Census Bureau or go online to make sure that you're filling out the correct form. Um, additionally, um, the safety, it cannot be shared. So this information cannot even be shared with the federal government agencies such as the FBI, uh, immigration, um, ICE, and the CIA. Um, even the President of the United States cannot access the specific census information of who is filling out what and what they're doing. And lastly, the census is really easy. It takes less than 10 minutes. It's about 10 questions and you make an impact for 10 years. So 10, 10, 10. So it's really important that we make sure that we do it. And right now, um, there are three ways that you can do it on your own from the safety of your home. And that is online, by phone, or in the mail. And additionally, uh, US federal government census takers are out in the community 
um, collecting census information as well. So if you haven't completed it on your own yet, um, <clears throat> the deadline is the end of September, September 30th. So uh, please complete that. Um, and if not, you'll be visited by a US Census federal employee if you haven't been so already. And just to share a bit of the timeline with you all, um, of course, things have changed quite drastically in light of COVID. Um, I, before having this job at the Idaho Nonprofit Center, actually worked with the Nevada Governor's Office um, with census efforts. And the timeline changed drastically once COVID hit. So in the very beginning, uh, March 12th, um, that was U.S. Census Day, um, which is when the census launched and became available online by phone um, for people to go ahead and complete. And then it was also being sent to folks in the mail um, through the remaining weeks. Um, with April 1st leading up to be a big uh, celebration for the census. Um, but as you know, um, COVID hit around uh, March 12th here in the United States, and that's when a lot of things were shifted. Um, so a lot of the operations have changed. Um, the self-response rate, where you can complete the census online, by phone, or in the mail, from the safety of your home, was extended all the way until September 30th. Um, and then we also have the non-response follow-up, um, which this happens uh, when census takers come and visit you at your place of residence and collect information on your behalf um, to then submit your census. So that started in July 16th um, with a few states participating. Idaho being one of those, and will continue until the end of this month. Um, so those operations are being wrapped up um, as we speak. And there's just a few days left to complete your 2020 census. So I wanted to share these graphics with you all um, to recognize the great work that our local governments and nonprofits and community leaders have really put into making sure that everyone is counted here in the state of Idaho. Um, again, it's really important for federal funding that our state receives um, and everything else, representation, data-driven decisions. Um, so groups have come together to connect with their communities to make sure that we all here in, the Ida in Idaho count because we all matter. Um, so there have been quite a few different initiatives. Um, you've probably heard of a few. Um, but this is just something I wanted to point out in terms of how Idaho has really stepped it up um, and made the census a priority here in our state. And some numbers to show for that, um, in terms of self-response rate, so folks completing it on their own, 69% um, of Idaho uh, residents or households have completed that. Um, and that ranks us at 16th in the nation, which is pretty incredible. And in terms of non-response follow-up, even greater news here, um, we're rated second highest in the nation right now with 99.8% of Idaho households having completed the census. Now, this is all based on the government's uh, best estimate in terms of the data that they do have. Um, but as of now, the way we know with what data we have, 99.8% of Idaho households have completed the census. And again, these operations are wrapping up in the end of September. So if you're part of the 0.2%, please make sure that you go and complete the census uh, today, online, by phone, or in the mail, and uh, help spread the word. Um, we're almost done, so make sure that folks get to know um, how important the census is and encourage them to complete it. I briefly wanted to talk with you all about some challenges um, that the census encountered. So first and foremost, as I mentioned, COVID-19 um, really flipped the operation upside down um, in many ways, um, but alas, it continued and continued in innovative ways and community members really came together to figure out how we can best count and make sure that our communities complete the census in light of COVID. And also the U.S. Census Bureau, they have a group of folks that they deem hard to count. And this community is pretty broad ranging and folks can be part of multiple groups. But for example, some hard to count communities are those in rural communities, those without uh, much access to internet, 
um, those from a um, like less tech background and uh, people of disadvantaged communities and people of color, um, all of those uh, folks can be considered hard to count. Um, so really being able to focus on those communities and meet them where they're at. And again, remind them of the three things that the census is important, safe and easy, um, is really helpful in ensuring that folks do complete the census. And then lastly, another big challenge that the census faces is a mistrust or a distrust in government. Um, a lot of folks don't feel comfortable giving out their information to the government, and there is a lack of trust in the government um, that we see statistically. So this is a barrier that we work to overcome and ensure that folks know exactly what they're inputting and exactly who has access to the information. And to our right here, you can see a graphic that our team at the Idaho Nonprofit Center made. Um, this is part of our um, toolkit to encourage folks to get everyone counted and to finish the census strong. Um, and that will be linked in the show notes for you all. So you can access that and use that as you see fit. So with that, I just want to remind you all that it's on all of us and we're in the final push. So please do what you can from now until September 30th to make sure that everyone is counted in our state for the 2020 census, particularly if you could connect and reach those hard to count communities to make sure that they know the importance of the census and they know how safe and easy it is, um, that would be greatly beneficial. And again, our team has developed a social media toolkit that I will share with you all in the show notes. And as well, our team has advocated for um, the 2020 census extension. So uh, currently there is a bill in Congress that is determining whether or not the census will actually end the end of September. Um, this deadline has been uh, shortened um, and it was in the midst of COVID. Um, so a lot of folks um, who work with communities um, throughout the United States are worried about getting a complete and accurate count. Um, and this is something that we, of course, are advocating for to make sure that our nonprofits, our communities um, receive their fair share of federal funding. And uh, last but not least, uh, it is important, safe and easy. So please pass it on. Uh, tell folks that you know how important the census is. Word of mouth really does go a long way and uh, use your network the best way you see fit to help encourage folks to complete the census. And with that, I have one more video to share with you all in regards to the importance of the census. It will help small business, not just barbershops, but all small businesses. The future is in education. The biggest improvement I'd like to see is, is the road. We need parks and civic space. I will definitely tell my friends to complete the census. It's important to figure out where we're going as a country. Thank you, and I will go ahead and leave you all with this quote. The census is incredibly important to our communities and nonprofits who serve them. Thank you to all Idaho nonprofits who have elevated the census. Your efforts will make an impact for the next decade. And that comes from Amy Little, the CEO of the Idaho Nonprofit Center. Idaho Matters, be counted. Please complete the census and encourage folks to do the same. Thank you.